Hi everyone, welcome to day 12 of my 100 days challenge. Today we'll be solving few entry level SQL interview question asked in Flipkart data analyst interview. So let's see the question. So the question number one says write a query to calculate the average monthly sale for each category. Return the category that has the highest average sale in each month. Now the question number two says write a query to identify the customers who spend the most money during the big billion days, which is November 24 to 27 in 2023 so we have three tables one is customers table that has customers id customer name customer city and customer state we have sales table which has sale id product id customers id sale date quantity and the amount and we have product table which is product id product name category and the price so let's solve this question today now you can see i have already created table and inserted the data to solve this question so let's quickly see the data so we have customer data you can see here and uh, let's see the sales table so we have sales data here you can see sales id and all the columns and the data let's see the product table here so we have the product informations and the product details are here so let's first solve the question number one which says write a query to calculate the average monthly sale for each category so for each category we need to find monthly sales and we need to return category name and the highest average sale in each month so let's copy it and paste it maybe here and uh, Let's see what are the things we need. So it says write a query to calculate the average monthly sale for each category. So we need to find out average monthly sale for each category first of all and return the category that has the highest average sale in each month. First of all we need to do and join between the sales and the product table because in the sales table we do not have any category name. So let's just check in the sales table we do not have any category ID or category name but we do have a product ID. So based on the product ID, we can do a join with the product table and we can get the category name because we need each category and their average sale for each month. And again, we do not have a month column. So we will also need a month column, which we can create using this sales date column, right? So then we can do a group by by each month. Then inside each month, we can do another group by by category. Then we can do average on this amount column to find out the average sale. So let's write down. So let's write. So let's write down our approach. So let's write down our approach to solve this question here. So first we need to join both the table, which is sales, sales and product table. We will join first. Okay. And uh, then what we need is uh, we need to create a month column using the sale date. So we will need to create a month column using sale date and we will create a month column. And then we will need to do a group by by the category which is group by by category that we will get from the product table okay which will come from the product table and we will also do a group by by month which is first group by by month because inside each month we want to see each category and their total average sale now inside so first we will do a group by month then we will do group by by category which is product category and then we will do average on this sale column which is this amount column that will come from the sales table so sale table of amount and then we will use the rank functions to select one product category from each month that has the highest average sale and at last we can filter using this rank functions that is how we will get our data so let's start writing our query first we need everything from the sales table and the product table for now so i'm going to say from select everything from sales as as doing an inner join because i need everything from both the table based on the match so join products as p both table has a common column which is called product id so i will say s dot product id equals p dot product id so sales table i'm giving a short name called s and i'm joining this table with product table i'm giving a short name called p now i have product id in both the tables so i'm joining both based on this product id let's run this query so let's quickly see okay i missed on here i just need to say on okay now you can see we have the result now what we need from this result just few columns which is to solve our problem first we need this sale date because based on the sale date we will create a month column and we will need this amount because we will do an average on these functions and we will need this category so let's select the column that we need first so i'm going to select the sale date which is coming from the sale table the sale table name is s so s dot sale date and uh, i will also select the amount which is also coming from the sales table so that is the amount next i need the category 
so that is coming from the product table so product of category so these are the things i need to solve this question now i will create a month column to show you how month how you can create month column using extract functions so i would say extract month from this sale date so from this date i am creating a month column and i am just going to save it call as month so let's go ahead and run this query to see our four column result so i have missed something let's just quickly see it okay i missed a comma here now let's run this query so let's i added extra comma here let's now run it again now we have the result which is uh, four columns okay so this is so these are the columns i need to solve this question today now i will do a group by by this category so that i can do an average on this column which is called amount to see the average for each category but inside each month so first i need to do a group by by this month column which is here you can see the month column all right so i can just cut it from here and i can just put it maybe above the category okay now if you see here based on this sale see the date is 15 post gen 15 2023 so month is one right so month has been extracted by using this extract function so you can see the month is here one similarly it's a fab so it's you see here too so using this extract function this is how you can create month or year if in case or you can also create a day number as well based on this if you just write day you will be getting day here if you write year you will be getting year number here so let's go ahead and see how we can solve it now now i don't need the sale date and uh, i need average on this column so i'm going to say avg on this column all right so i'll save it call as average sale now i need to do a group by force by the month because inside each month i want to see each category and their average sale now this is very important you need to understand how you will do the group by so first i am doing a group by by the month because inside each month i want to see each product category and their average sale right so i'm going to say group by group by one which is group by by the first column that is this one and then i will say group by by this two that means two so you can do like this way so this is going to do a group by by the month and then it is going to do a group by by the category and then inside every month i have this all the available category and their average sale i can simply order by here order by by a month to show you month and order by by the category now you can see i have the month one which is in gen i only have one category that's electronics and that's the average sale in again feb i have one same which is electronics this is the average sale so this is the average sale so based on the available category where we have done sale we can see the average sale now we need to find out from each month one category where we have the highest average sale so i think we have two record here in appliance you can see this is the highest average sale which is 1066 and this is 1049 right so we want to select this this category because from this month and i think all the rest of the month has only one product category which has the highest average sale so we want to select all of the product along with from here we will select only this one because this one has the highest sale this one is the second highest right so now i will use simply a rank functions to give a ranking so from each month all the category will get different different ranking based on this highest amount will get rank one then second highest category in that same month will get rank two and so on and so on so all of this category i only have one category in each month so i will be getting only rank one and then here I have two category in this month. So I will be getting two rank, but I'll be selecting the rank one because the rank one is going to given to this amount because of the highest amount. So I will go ahead and say rank here. After this column, you just need to give your window function that is going to create a new column. So we will see that. So I'm going to say rank and I will say over. Now inside the over, I will do partition, partition by this month, which is this column so i'm going to just copy it from here and uh, just use it as it is because i want to create a month and then i want to do a partition by the month and then i will simply go ahead and say order by this average which is going to be this in descending okay so the highest average get rank one as sales rank now i can simply run this query this will create a new column called rank now you can see all the category has got rank one because they are only one category every month that i have here okay 
here in the 11 month which is in november i have two category one is the electronics that has the highest sale that is getting rank one because i have done an order in descending by this average sale inside this month now this is getting this second highest ranking that is getting rank two now if i just filter out by this sales rank equals one i will have my correct answer so similarly i will go ahead and save this data in a cte you can also use sub query so i'm going to use ct today so i would say as sales rank as now i'll just now i'll just give a little different name now i'm saving this query in a cte and from the city i'm selecting everything and i'm saying where sales rank equals one so if i just run this query i will have all the month and one product category and their the average sale so that product category will have the highest average sale so let's verify in the 11th you can see i have the product category that has the highest sale that is electronics that is 1066 dollar so this is how we can use simple rank to solve this type of problem now if in case i want to select a specific column i can select whatever the column i need let's say i need month oops so i would need month and second i need category third i need the average sale so this is how i will be getting the average sale for each product category from each month only one product category that has the highest average sale so now you can see we have total sale of 11 month and from 11 month we are from each month we are getting the product category that has the highest average sale so this is how we can solve this type of interview question now let's see the question number two it says write a query to identify the customers who spend the most money during the big billion sale which is november 24 and 27 in 2023 to solve these questions i will just need to do a join between the sales and the customer table so let's first do a join between sales and customers so i'm going to say select everything from sales as s join customers as c on s dot now both the table has a customers id in common so i'm going to say s dot customer id equals then i have the second table which is c dot customer id now if i just run this query i have all the sales informations along with the customer information because i have joined both the table okay now what i need to do is simply i need to do a group by by this customer's id and this customer name and then i can do a sum on this sale amount to see the total sale that is purchased by each customers but i just need to filter the data for this range which is 24 to 27 november of 2023 so that is what i need to do to solve this question so let's write down right first we need customer id and customer name which you will get from the customer table and uh, that we need to do a sum on the amount which is the sale amount now to get this sale amount i need to do a group by group by by above two like customer id and the customer name customer id and customer name now why we will do a group by by two because there could be a possibility that uh, you know the same name can have by two customers right so i will do a group by by customers id and customer name then i now, now before that i will need to filter the data for 24 25 26 and 27th november 2023 so this is how i get my answer now let's see the question again write the query to find the who spend the most money during okay then we need to do again one more filter using having to select the customer who has the highest who spend the most money right then we will use a having to select one customer who has highest spent okay using order by and limit so let's go ahead and uh, build our logic here so here i first need the customer's id from c table so or i can select the sales table that's fine so i'm going to say c dot customer id and i will say c dot customer name and i will do a sum on this amount column because i want to see each customers and their total purchase right so this is i'm going to save it as like total spent now i will just cut it from here and put it on the top okay now what i need else so i think these are the only things i need now i just need to filter the data only for 24 to 27th november right so i will do filter here so whenever you're doing join so filter comes here where functions come here 
so we use where functions to filter the data so i'm going to say where s dot sale date now i'll be using between and an operator to select the data from 24 to 27th of november so i'm going to say between and so here i will say sale date between and i will give my starting date which is in the format of yy yy month month and day day so i'm going to say 2020 3 which is the year and uh, November is the month which is 11 and 24 I need till 27 right so so this will ensure even the data which is for 24th of November and 27th of November are also included in this between and n logical operator that I have used so now I just need to do a group by by first and second so this is how I get each customers and their name and their total spent and I can see we have this four customers and their name and their total spend so we just need to select the customer that has spent the highest money that is this bob right so i can do an order by this total spend and select use and use limit to select the first one right so i can go ahead and say order by order by by this amount which is called total spend and i can say limit one now order by in descending because i need the highest spend the first right so let's go ahead and select it now I can see we have Bob who has the highest spend that is 15.99 and this is how we have solved the question number 2. That's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. If, and if you enjoy solving this type of problem, I request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a good day and take care. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.